Hello everybody. Uh, here we'll talk about the one of the feature of the Q UFT, uh, which is called output value. Sometimes you will face the question in interview, like what is a function, what is an action? Act so you will uh, say like function returns a value. What about action? Can action return a value or not? So yes, is it possible? Uh, it is possible through uh, output value. So let's see how to do that. I have already recorded few steps uh, by using one of the sample application in UFT. Let's open that. We'll replay it. It will select the flight and it will come on a particular window here. Uh, now suppose our requirement is we need to capture the price, total price of the flight. So uh, we'll do it using output value. Let's see how to do that. To capture the output value, uh, we should be in recording mode. Go to this option and select the standard output value. Come on the object which you want to capture. In our case, it is price. So let's click on that. Click OK. It will open one property value all the properties it will show of that object. So our interest is in the price. So we can see like name properties having the price. Click on modify. By default QTP assign some uh, name to this output value. So let's give, give it a sensible name. So in our case it is a price. Click OK. and we can change this name as well this is the logical name of that total price stop the recording it has been added here so it should be down in the end of the script so what happens after adding the output value let's see you will observe in the global data sheet it will add one column which is we have added like we, what we have given as price so how to capture that output value now we'll see it so let's run it i need to open the login window Here if you go back to the editor in the data table you won't be able to see any value because the output value is captured at the runtime during the execution and the same you can see into the run result viewer expand the result in the end you can see here it has captured the right value 153.47 and it will the value will be stored into the runtime data table as well as you can see here. So in this way, we can store the value by using output values. And I'll tell you one more way uh, you can add output value. In the active screen, if you go there, you will be able to see the screen, whatever has been captured. If you right click on an object, you will see insert output value. From there also you can add the output value click OK you will get the same window and the same procedure you can perform so that's it about the output value if you want to know more about output value and other stuff about UFT you can go to my site www.testingpool.com and you can contact me there as well thank you very much for watching the video